everyone. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about my journey on how I started my little side hustle, which is $80, literally just $80. I'm just going to get right into it. So I was that girl on YouTube, probably what you're doing and just looking at different videos and ideas on how to have like a side income and how to establish something for myself to have as a side income as a college student full time. And I already had a part time job and I was already like diving into medical bills because of the chiropractor and stuff like that. And I had to pay for everything out of pocket. I do everything myself. I am a very, very young adult at a young age. I've always been right out of 18 paying for everything myself. And yeah, that really just had me at a point where I had to find some way to get a little bit of extra wiggle room and cash for gas, for food and stuff like that. I was on YouTube and I actually came across a certain video. I don't remember what the video was, but I came across a platform of Depop. And so I found this reselling app that you resell your clothes on. And no, this is not sponsored or anything by Depop. If you guys know my channel, y'all know I've been making videos about Depop. And if you want to start one, by the way, look at my channel. I have so many helpful resources that's helped so many people out. I found this platform and I watched like five to 10 videos about it. And so I was like, you know what? I actually can do this. I have some clothes that I want to sell that I'm not really gonna wear anymore. That's still trending. That still looks really good. So I might as well try and sell it. So with the $80 that I spent, I looked at the basics that I really, really needed, which were basically some poly mellers, a scale, some tape, and maybe some paper for like thank you cards that I used to handwrite to every customer. Sometimes I would handwrite it on sticky notes in the beginning. So that's pretty much what I spent. It probably wasn't even that much. I also bought some PVC pipe to make a DIY backdrop video that I followed. I made a backdrop with just a white sheet, blanket sheet, and that was my backdrop. <laughs> Literally, that's how I started. And I started to sell my clothes. And when I first started, of course, things were very, very slow. I was just getting into it I had no reviews no nothing and I knew that I was gonna have a lot of hard slow times in the beginning and I just had to keep pushing through so I eventually made my first couple sales and I started to reach out to family members and cousins I have such a big eye family but I started to reach out to family members and ask them hey do you guys have any clothes or any stuff that y'all don't want anymore like I'm more than happy to take them so I would go through them see what I can sell and donate the rest that I couldn't so that's basically how I got more inventory for free and I know I've mentioned this on my channel before so yeah that's how I started with my whole inventory and taking pictures on my phone I set up my backdrop as best as I could I tried to mimic the already famous or successful in my eyes at the time Depop sellers and I really just I got so passionate about it I I fell in love with taking pictures and then finding out that people go thrifting and source their items and stuff like that like I fell in love with the idea and it also brought me to sustainable fashion and sustainability like another way I can be and help be sustainable is to shop at thrift stores secondhand and I'm not saying that I'm never gonna buy anything new like I still love shoes and I'll buy some sneakers but nine times out of ten literally like 99% of my wardrobe now has been thrifted like it's crazy but anyways so I of course things were slow and that's how I started and eventually I made my $80 back and I reinvested that money and not the entire thing. I would do $50 at the thrift store and try to flip that with what I had. I knew things were going to get better. I knew my lighting was going to get better. I didn't even have lighting at the time. I used my window and my PVC pipe and blanket sheet to take pictures. And I knew I was going to have a better backdrop one day. I knew all of that. And so you just have to keep yourself motivated because no one else is going to do that for you. Like you have to go find that motivation. No one's going to just hand it to you. You have to look at a YouTube video, read a book, listen to a podcast, listen to some motivational music. Like literally you have to go find it to keep yourself motivated on a daily basis. And if you feel like yourself is coming in a rut and going in a hole, refine stuff. Like all it takes is a few seconds with your little thumbs 
on your phone and look up an inspirational video or something on YouTube. And that's what I just did and I really got inspired and now I'm here to this day. I About two days ago, I got verified on Depop and I'm so, 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 so happy and so forever, ver forever grateful. I'm always saying thank you on my Instagram. I am never, never, ever unappreciative of where I'm at now because I would dream to be verified. I didn't even think I would even get verified when I first started, but I wanted to get a little extra cash. But now that I'm verified, the sky's the limit. And that's just one thing that I want to do. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Really, once you set your small goals and expectations for yourself, and once you start to meet them, now that I got to this point, I'm more motivated, more passionate to keep going. When I was first starting, I didn't even think to be like a top seller on Depop. And now that I am, it's like, wow, like you just got to set those goals and keep going. And as you can see on my highlights on my Instagram, I did post like screenshots, shutting my my page out and stuff like that and i would try to just really use instagram only was all i was really using in the beginning to really market my depop within the app itself you can do a lot of marketing too but i'm not going to get into that um but yeah this is not sponsored by depop by the way or any reselling apps like this is just genuinely how i started with 80 dollars, and i actually found something that i was passionate about and that's something else i want to point out to you guys is find something that you're passionate about not just something that will make you money hungry and just you know nine times out of ten a lot of people who are just money hungry and impatient end up losing it so be find something that you're passionate about because instead of your drive being hunger for money your drive will be that hunger for passion and that is never ending because when you're passionate about something you just want it so bad keep going because you love it and not just because it's making you money because you actually have your heart in it and not just your mind you know you can put your mind to certain things and get things done but when your heart is in something and your mind's in something the sky's the limit honestly and there's so many ideas out there that you guys could start with this type of side hustle thing especially as a college student i know it can be hard to set a time set aside time for this because i was a college student full-time biology major not to like downplay any other majors but science majors we really had it like i'll say kind of bad just because we have to study so much but i was a science major full-time i had to commute like almost an hour there and back because of traffic downtown terrible and then i was starting to start on youtube a little bit i wasn't as consistent as i am now putting videos out weekly and then i was also working part-time at an optical so i was at an office it's not like i could just leave or call out whenever i wanted so i had to work as well and pay for everything that i own and have and live <laughs> because i do everything myself so i'm just forever grateful to have this opportunity and the sky's the limit like i said for you guys in a nutshell that's what i did eventually out of those 80 dollars, i eventually bought a printer because in the beginning i didn't even have a freaking printer i would have to go to the library and print my labels and i would have to wait until they were open or wait until or try to make it before they were closed and it was just always a hassle trying to get there and i was like you know what i need to invest into an actual printer because i was working i was in school i had all this stuff going on that I sometimes i couldn't even make it and i wanted my first sales and first customers to be 100 percent happy i wanted to ship literally the same day if i could same day if i for sure the next morning like i would never miss a day till this day that's still what i do i never miss a day of shipping i always ship every single morning and if you buy from me within a certain period that day i will ship it that same day so it's never changed i still put the same amount of effort if not more now just because i was able to reinvest my money that i made from those simple 80 dollars and i made a hundred dollars and then those hundred dollars i invested 50 and then i made 150 dollars and then so on and so on and so on i don't know i bought like a backdrop now i have some lighting now i have um thank you cards that i made now like i was able to buy my desk my workstation shelves for my inventory like everything that i have over there my depot paid for it my phone even my brand new phone 11 
the whatever pro max <laughs> i literally bought it with my depot money too so the sky's the limit honestly and i'm just so 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 excited where i'm gonna be and yeah i really hope this helped you guys or gave y'all like some inspiration or some motivation or a little something a little fire a little flame or something like that so for yourself and your ideas and your hustle and whatever you guys want to do like just do it just start believe in yourself because nobody else will honestly i hope you guys enjoyed this video follow me on my depop my depop is at underscore it's also the same as my instagram i'm always on there and i'm also posting new youtube videos every week so please give this video a thumbs up if it gave you any little motivation any little spark any idea anything like that just give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out please <laughs> i hope you guys liked it i will talk to you guys in the next video bye